We all like to keep our home clean and tidy. But somehow, if you're still not there when this happens effortlessly, then don't worry. Today's video shall help you in the journey to achieve this goal. I would say I was also there at some point, but then I realized it's important to set your mind to these tiny details. And taking out time to complete the house chores is equally important, which includes taking care of yourself as well. Because messy home can affect your overall sense of well-being too. Hello everyone and once again welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to share a few cleaning hacks which will help you out in keeping your home and kitchen clean. I have been using all these tricks for quite some time and they are helpful for me. So I thought why not to share it with you guys also. So without wasting any time let's get into today's video. We always see turmeric stains left in the Tupperware boxes and after repetitive cleaning also it becomes difficult to remove them. But there is a very simple and easy way to clean it. I have seen this trick on Pinterest. Here I am showing you two boxes just to give you two different examples. To clean it you will need to add one to two drops of liquid dish wash and put a napkin. Fill the container with the hot water and close the lid and shake it well for a minute or so. Now open the lid and as you can see all the stains from the lid has gone. Empty the water and as you can see that the napkin has absorbed all the turmeric. Here is how it looks after cleaning. All the stains are removed and as you can see that the stains are gone to an extent. So for me this trick actually worked. All the faucets and taps in the home get dirty and if you ran out of a tap cleaner and taps are not clean for a long time there is something for your rescue. Fabric softener. The fabric softener comes handy to make them shine again. Just take a sponge wipe and pour some fabric softener in it and then rub it all over the tap. Scrub it nicely for 2-3 to three minutes and here as you can see it's working and making it shine again. Once you are done. Just clean it with a damp cloth and dry it with a paper towel or a cloth. Sometimes we just ignore small such things at home when it comes to cleaning. But taking out few minutes can really save your job in a long run. Fabric softener is a very good cleaning agent. So now we know another excellent use of a fabric softener other than laundry. When you like to read, you have a collection of books. So it's not always possible to keep all the books inside the cabinets. When we keep them in the open shelves, the layer of dust accumulates on the sides or on the top of the books. Cleaning them with a dry cloth is not a smart way. It takes a lot of time as you can only clean one book at a time. And also in the process, you happen to rub the dirt against the books. There is a smart way. Use a vacuum cleaner to clean the books from the outside as this is the only exposed part of the book on the bookshelf. Use a soft brush attachment on your vacuum and clean them from the sides and from the top. It will not take much of your time and your books will always be dust free. Removing the dust first will prevent streaks and smears. We all love to add lights in our homes as it makes the whole house look cozy and beautiful. But what about cleaning them? Have you ever taken a closer look at how much dust gets accumulated on your bulbs over time? If your bulbs have a dirty film on them, your room may be getting less light than it should be. When you clean your bulb with a dry cloth, it won't take all the stubborn layer of dust from the bulb and this is what I'm trying to say. Nowadays, everyone has a water-based hand sanitizer in their home. Just grab the bottle, spray it on the microfiber cloth, very gently wipe any residue from the bulbs and allow the bulb a few minutes to dry completely. Place the bulb back to their fixtures. I have to admit, cleaning the light fixtures in my home is a task which I never thought was important. 
but when I finally get around doing it, it gives the room a new life. Plus, it ensures that I'm getting most out of the lifespan of my light bulbs. While cleaning our home, doing sweeping or vacuum cleaning the rooms, the baseboards are the ones which get ignored more often than not. We often forgot about the baseboards until they get so dirty and scuffed up that we have to tackle them. But maintaining a routine will not lead to dirty baseboards. So every once in a month, try to clean them. Now the question is how? If you will only use dry cloth like this to clean the baseboards, it will only remove the dust from there. The wet cloth will make that area more dirty than ever. But if you will use a magic eraser, it will do the job of removing the dust layer, cleaning it, and also it will make it white and bright like it was when you get it painted. Use a dampened magic eraser and scrub it on the baseboards and see the magic on your own. This is the part which I have just cleaned with the magic eraser and this area is yet to be cleaned. You can see the difference and overall also keeping them clean can make your whole room look beautiful. When we work on computers, our fingers are on the keyboards all the time and it makes the keyboard dirty. The most difficult part is how to clean in between the keys which are hard to reach out to on the computer. To clean it, one can always use a jelly cleaning gel. I will provide the link in the description box. But for the same, you can also use place line if you have kids at home as it works as a best cleaner to clean these intricate areas. It will easily pick all the dust particles between the keys and keeps your keyboard clean all the time. There is one more way to clean the keyboard is to use a Q-tip and a sanitizer. Spray a little bit on the Q-tip and clean the area between the keys. This way it takes time but it will clean the keyboard. So today in this video I have given you two ways to clean the keyboards. You can use either of them but make sure to clean your keyboards always once in a week to always keep it clean. When we clean the plastic surface with a dry microfiber cloth, it creates a static clink on the plastic surface. To avoid that, you can use a fabric softener. Just pour a little bit on the microfiber cloth and clean all the plastic surfaces like cleaning the TV, laptops and desktop. While you're cleaning the TV screen, move the cloth in a circular motion and clean all your electronics at home. There's nothing wrong in using a conventional cleaner, but this could also be very handy if you ran out of it or simply happen to find this a better choice. Do let me know through your comments. Over the time when you use your iron on clothes, the dirt and grime deposits. And if you are worried that the scotch marks on the iron plate will transfer to your clothes, yes, they can. So you have to properly take care of those marks. Use a magic eraser. Slightly wet it. Then heat up the iron. Once it heats up, you have to switch it off and run the sole plate over the eraser quickly. Repeat the process until the iron cools down. Once the iron has cooled down, just rub the magic eraser to clean all the scorched marks. It will take out the marks and leave the iron plate as new. So always investing in few products which can do so much job in your home is worth spending. And this is how it looks after I clean it with the magic eraser. Accidentally, sometimes we broke things around the home, especially the glass. You can easily remove all the big pieces, but the small glass particles are difficult to pick. 
If you use broom, then also it will not pick all the tiny particles from the floor. One can use a vacuum cleaner to pick up the smallest particles around the room. But if you don't want to use a vacuum cleaner, you just need a small amount of weed dough to pick those small glass particles from the room. Got this trick from my mum. I have seen her doing it since childhood. I know it's a very small thing, but it still sometimes creates comfort and ease if you know how to take care of these small things. We all love to decorate our home with artifacts, paintings, furnishings and of course the candles. Don't you just hate it when your candles burn down and the wax get all over your pretty candle holders. So I have a very easy solution for that. Pour the hot water and wait for few seconds. It will loosen up the wax. Then with the help of a spoon, just scrape it from the bottom. Wax will come on the top which makes it easier to remove it from the glass candle holder. As we have used the hot water, the wax which is on the wall of the glass can be easily cleaned with a dry cloth or a paper towel. Now you can again use it to decorate any other beautiful corner of your home. This is all about today's video and I really hope you are going to find all these cleaning hacks useful. And if you enjoyed today's video, then please do share this video with all your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more video related updates. I'll see you next time with another video. Till then stay home, take care and bye bye.